Hey, it's Jake Gagne. Thanks for watching Moto America on YouTube. Be sure to like and subscribe. Keep tuning in. Bikes on the rev limiter. Lights are off and we're away racing. And it looked like the 99 at Dreyer who's caught sleeping a little bit, JP. Yeah, the front row didn't look too bad, Greg, but yeah, it's gonna be DeMario getting off into turn one. And it, I think Dreyer moved himself into second. And you can see the lines these guys use are, you know, even on their fast laps, not from the start, they, they can run a lot more track on the eggs of the turn one, like running up that hill, trying to carry a lot of momentum. But it is Alessandro DeMario leading the way down through the S's on the first lap. DeMario on that Altus Motorsports entry. The majority of the bikes in the field are Kawasaki Ninja 400s, with one exception who started this race, and that is Aiden Sneed on the Yamaha R3. We kind of saw this yesterday, too. We saw a few guys trying to break away early. These two guys have a big break over Bickneys right now. Medina there was challenging all the way down through the S's. So right now, the group in third through fifth, six back there better get organized because otherwise the two at the front are going to get away. But for Alessandro right now, this is the best case scenario for him. He's got clean air out in front. He did a really nice job getting through turns six and seven and pulling away. But look at the draft now. Hayden uh, Dreyer now in that draft. Probably try to do something down into turn 10. Let's see. And the group's behind. I can already hear bikes on the rev limiter back there. Yeah, big rev limiters there. That's not going to be great for those riders if you're in top gear. Right, so not too bad for Hayden Bickney's on the 69. He initially got on the back straightaway and was signaling to the people behind him who he thought was right on him about the draft and pass. But you can see that nobody really came with the 69. Yeah, now he's going to be able to get the draft of the two in the front. So it's going to be up to Chase Black, Medina, Max Van. They're all going to have to do what they can to, to like, I mean, Greg, when you can't see him in that picture back there, I know they're over on the right-hand side of the track. Probably clipped into that that a little bit, but there's nobody really even coming with him at the moment. Max Van is in six. Now, remember, DeMario yesterday, he didn't get to finish that race. So any of these other kids that got to do all their laps yesterday could have made small tweaks overnight, small changes to make their bikes a little bit better. As you see now, Bickney's is going to go to the front here. Dreyer's going to draft past. So these three are going to work together pretty nicely as they come down into turn 10. So DeMario is basically on the setup that he was on yesterday. It is, Greg, and it's another opportunity for Avery Dreyer to try and put this back on the top step of the podium. I talked to him, and he said he doesn't want to be overconfident because he knows that every race is different. Yesterday, the last few laps, he wanted to be in third to draft into 10A because he watched Kayla do that when he was watching last year's races, and it obviously worked out for him. But he's just going to try and play things by ear. And then, of course, you have the 69 of Hayden Vickney's on the Vickney's Racing out of Missouri. They're going after it while... Chase, Chase Black had done such a great job to close the gap, but one little miscue, especially with these bikes that don't have the power to make up any of these gaps. So for Chase Black, now he's got some company. Yep, and it's Max Van. It's kind of, you know, these are the guys you'd expect, all three of these kids. Now he's taken to that sharp end there, but Greg, it's, what is it? It's about a second, almost a little over a second and a half lead he has, 1.2 to third. So Max Van's about 1.2 back. He's got to get a good run down here through these S's. Eight laps remain in Junior Cup race number two. DeMario still leads the way. I like what I'm seeing from these lead three at the moment, Jason, because I think you saw Chase Black close the gap quite significantly. They're looking for better things today, but we saw in the back of our shot just now when we panned back, we saw Max Van run a little wide out of turn five, so not sure if he made a small mistake because he was leading those guys down through the S's. Chase Black was able to go by him as they came up over the top of turn five. So Max has done a nice job to get himself back into that fourth place spot. But and, Jay, it's one thing to get there. It's another thing to start making passes. Yeah, and to put it into perspective, our pole position guy, uh, Alessandro DiMario, went 42-2. Uh, to get pole position and we've gone 41 8 here now chase black is trying and here here's what i was talking about you get three four wide if there was another rider in fifth that draft's really going to pull you in that's where you start to hear the rev limiters to mario looking up underneath dreyer there the two guys in the back always look like they close up a little bit down that back straightaway and max man is still there too running in sixth place you see him back there and, and you know, now you can't even say that somebody's going to get away. It just looks like they're all going to end up being back together with a couple of laps to go. And it turns six. Chase Black eases on by. That corner's got a lot of camber, and it's a great place to pass if you get a run. 400s. Yeah, and you can see how close these guys are getting as they 
decided to pull out of that draft. Chase Black all the way over on the right-hand part of our screen there on the 14. He's going to try to see what kind of breaks these guys have. Medina is now on the back end, as is Max Vance. So they have been drugged to the front. Everybody all back together. We saw two riders to show their racecraft and, and, and the respect, too. I mean, that you can tell these guys give each other room. I, I, I had to make a mention. Look at this battle, Greg, for seventh. This is Rivera, Sneed, Clark, Fernandez, Cunnison, Chris Elliott's in that group as well. So we've got a huge battle at the front. And then we've got a huge battle right here for seventh place as well. And I believe this is where you're going to see Aiden Steed, who you brought up earlier, riding that Yamaha. But look at this is the front group again. Five wide as they come down into here. Medina now Whoa. squeezes himself into third spot. Gets in there behind the Mario. Like stay in sniffing that draft. You can see him there in sixth. And he's, he's just trying so hard to get up to these guys. And he cannot quite get there. So three guys in front of him fanning out. That's going to help. Max Van on that sport yep, bike that's track gonna help him a lot. Watch, watch. Yeah, three draft, three rider draft, and Max Van on that sport bike track here.com. Kawasaki, just like that, passes that's three. That's what he needed. It's exactly what he needed. And look what happened to Yandel Medina. Yep. Right back to the back of this pack. Goes from third to six, right? So Max actually got exactly what he needed there. Now you made mention yesterday of the drive out of 10B. Let's see. So this is the final lap for race number two of Moto America Junior Cup. Dreyer looking around to see what's going on. At this point, you've made the commitment to lead down through the S's, and Dreyer's doing that, and he's going to try to do everything he can to clean this 2-3-4 sector as best that he can because when you've got clear track in front of you, you can just dictate the speed all the way through these, put a lot of pressure on these other guys to try to run you down. And you can see Max Van now. He's taken he's second place, and he's, he's done a really good job, has Max getting himself through there. So he runs it a little tighter into five than the guys. That's why he runs out wide on the exit there. He makes a real straight line from that right kink into five. And you can see it just costs him just a tiny bit of time there. I don't know, Jay. I mean, it's looking pretty good for Avery Dreyer right now. It's all going to be about this run onto the back straightaway. Yep. Look like good exit speed. Oh, I don't know. This is that danger zone where we could see Chase Black slingshot himself from fourth place to first if they can close the gap using the draft oh they're trying right now and they, they, they just cannot get quite close enough it's going to be a big move if anybody's going to go by dreyer he's already staying over there oh, he tried to stay over to the left but he's opened the door he's opened the door for these guys is he going to be able to make it he does Mario. make it as tomorrow oh! oh alessandro demario too much ask from the front tire and he goes down avery dreyer doesn't know it, but he's looking pretty good down the hill. Goes the 99. And to the flag they go, and it's Avery Dreyer on the bad boys racing. Kawasaki, who takes victory two in a row. Max Van comes from seemingly nowhere. Great run from Max. In the second place again.